Hi, I'm Alex Squires. Uh, this is our first makeup battle challenge. Uh, for this one, I'm gathering some makeup people that I know, and we're gonna do a 10 minute competition where uh, everyone's going to make a zombie, whatever zombie they can make within the time limit. Uh, I'm not giving them much time because uh, a lot of us have Halloween haunted house experience and uh, so we're sticking to that theme of trying to get it done really fast as fast as possible. What can you complete in your given 10 minute time? Here we go. Uh, time constraint is not a problem for me. Uh, I say that now, but I'm sure I'll change my tune when we're nine minutes in. But uh, doing quick stuff like what we call slash and dash is stuff that I've been doing, a, what we do a lot of. Um, so it's nothing, it's nothing outside of my wheelhouse, but I'm also not gonna be like, hey, it's gonna be perfect. Like, there's always, there's always gonna be something to, to trip you up, so. I've been doing a lot of conventions lately. So with those, you have to be you know, right on your game. You have to do very, very quick makeup. So I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a, a twist on it, I think. I'm excited to see what I can do. We'll see if I can actually keep it in that 10 minutes. I have a picture in my head of what I'd like to accomplish, and uh, I'll basically just go on instinct for the most part. But I'm mostly excited. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm excited about it. To me, like at Six Flags, it's just a, that's what we do. It's second nature. So, uh, 10 minutes, I'm excited. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can, so. I've never uh, actually challenged myself before and like actually like set myself a time limit. It's just, it's either get it done as good as I can within the speed and cause then there's usually a line of people. But uh, yeah, this will be fun. Years ago, there, there was a TV show called Movie Magic, and all it was was showing all these behind the scenes of how different stuff worked. They would do movies, they would do TV episodes, and, uh, and seeing more of like what did go on behind the scenes, and, and I decided I, I'm a fair artist, and I realized this is something that I could work with, something that I could do, and, uh, and that's what made it look interesting. Um, the show would... They it had like model builders building the Enterprise and then exploding it on camera. And I feel like that looks terrible. It's like who'd want to blow up their work, but then my work gets washed up every night. Um, but like seeing, uh, like when they would put the zombie makeup on Michael Jackson for Thriller and they had the behind the scenes of that. Even when they did the werewolf makeup and they're putting in the contacts, just like it looked amazing to me. Uh, so makeup is only one of the things I do. I do, I make monsters, I make giant things, I design haunted houses. Uh, but really, I think the first time I thought, wow, that's incredible makeup, was The Thing. Uh, I, I saw it in a, in a book, and then I was like, wait, this is a, this is a movie out there somewhere? Because my parents would never let me see that. Absolutely, no way. Uh, but I hunted that down and had to see it. Now, obviously, a, a good portion of it is uh, effects. And, but the, you know, back then they didn't have CGI, they didn't have stuff like that. So you know, there's still the practical uh, effect of, of uh, you know, it's, it's there, it's, it's almost, it's not real, but it's, it's, it's the closest thing you can get to being real. The thing that you have had stuck in your head for God knows how long, physically on a person. That's my favorite part, because I definitely think up 
monsters all the time. I'm always doing little sketches and sending them to my partners for different rooms. And it's just nice to see it come to fruition on a person. And then you can be like, yes, this is what I dream of at night. <laughs> I've always been a huge fanatic for the horror genre, even when I was a kid. Like I watched The Exorcist when I was like six years old and it just all escalated from there really fast. I'm a big fan of the steampunk uh, art scene, so I do draw a lot of inspiration from people there, like Jeff, uh, Jeff Vandermeer. Yeah, just I draw from a lot of those things. Also, art styles, like I like bringing uh, Art Nouveau, which is also uh, kind of around the same time frame that science fiction and steampunk comes in. Um, I like drawing from there. Honestly, I really like to see, uh, I really like to be inspired by the people I surround myself with. So um, I like going to as many local shows as possible, meeting new artists, like that's the biggest thing for me. Like. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what other people are doing and, and letting that motivate me to do other things. A lot of movies, like anytime I watch a movie, I'm not looking at just the movie, right? I'm always looking at the makeup, how do they do it? I try to figure out what they use to do it. Um, there's a lot of things out there I haven't used yet, you know, but I go online and kind of try to research it, and so I find inspiration everywhere. Right now, it's, it's a fun hobby for me to do, and it's a good creative outlet. You know, when I'm at home and I'm just sitting there bored, I'm like, what can I do? Well, I'll paint my face, you know, or paint somebody else's face. Okay, so that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun making it. Thanks to all of our artists. Their content information and our links are below so you can reach them and see more of their work. Thank you to all of our models for participating. Thank you to the Big Art Center for, for letting us use your venue. And if you want to see more, stay tuned. We'll do some more and we'll change it up and do a few different things. Thanks for watching.